Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 2, Thoughts. This episode is called Purpose in the Machine. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to, including when this episode first premiered, but nothing after that point in this video. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the Psych After Strikers, and then there's some links that help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive right in. So yeah, we open in 1839, and yeah, we are told, you know, supposedly no one has ever returned from the, the portal, and yeah, uh, really appreciate that they open it this way, makes it hit that much harder that the episode ends with them getting fit Simmons them getting Simmons back and let's see yeah so they realize the, the other team members realize that Fitz has broken containment and stop him and then right after they pull him out it becomes you know li liquid again but he did manage to find sand which, hooray, but no, seriously, that, that does, yeah, you know, clearly there's something going on there that, and let's see, the, yeah, and the thing, you know, but we're gonna find out, I guess, and everyone agrees, and let's see, the, yeah, so they're going to, talk to Dr. Randolph again. Yeah, always really, like I said last time, really happy to see Peter McNichol in, in stuff again. Liked his older stuff. And let's see, we have the... Um, right, the yeah, the, the car scene is very... Holy crap, like, Grant does not screw around. He, you know, <laughs> sitting there talking about, oh, this is a great car. And the guy on the hood, he hasn't even used it. <laughs> you know, which, like, there was a second there where I was like, you're killing a guy because he's not using his car? But no, you know, it's the, it's the Hydra, it's one of the Hydra people. And... Yeah, you know, he points out they mistake wealth for success. And, yeah, you know, I... Are we sure he's the bad guy? Because he's, like, going around intimidating really rich people because they don't actually do anything. Like, it's... he's the bad guy because this was made. This, w this was not made by, like, really far left people so it's like oh you know if you if you don't like that rich people take from the rest of us and give absolutely nothing back I don't know I guess you're a Nazi then let's see and the um, yeah we're told you know absolutely no one has been approved by the doctor yet and let's see yeah um melinda may playing golf never thought i'd see but but yeah you know i i quite enjoy you know your comment after every single swing is great and the you know <clears throat> You have the thing about the the ah crap. What was the word? Um, huh, maybe I'll maybe I'll think of it later. But yeah, great to also see Melinda's father, and she calls he calls her Melly, which is a, a kind of sweet uh, yeah. And and you know you know it's a good day when you get to see James Hong in something, you know. To yeah. This everything everywhere all at once, big trouble in little China, just fantastic. Yeah. 
and let's see yeah and and oh right right now yeah um yeah so before there was the thing about you know the the norwegian prisons are comfortable which is true and you know that is part of why the country is in much better shape when it comes to like there's there's way less recidivism for example and you know he's like okay fine you talk me into it and breaks off the door and then the guards come and he's like he did it <laughs> what do you what are you going to do colson are you going to say N -n no he he did you know you've got the robot hand like you know no, it's it's not like you couldn't probably do something like that you know and you promised you were going to help him to be nice to just yeah i i really hope we get to see professor randolph again he's he's so much fun and let's see. yes and he explains about you know i this let's see um yeah fitz is explaining you know i i lost uh, you know i struggled to to track the the monolith through and you know right before he says england professor you know yeah elliot you know jumps in and says england you know it's like okay he knows something very nicely done and yeah um england in 1853 to the plane everybody am i allowed to say that yeah, that's that's go to the plane, everybody. I guess. <laughs> you know, he's he's allowed to get excited. It's it's a big, it's a big thing, you know. And yeah, I will say it was very very clever. You know, the the um, Grant and the others are trying to get, uh, you know, these these rich people. You know, try, yeah, trying to deal with with rich people on this expensive, you know, the boat or ship or you know, which and I like the thing, you know, it's like camping in your in your house, the or yeah, so something like that, you know, to to never actually take it out, and so they bring rats, which yeah, that's gonna get a lot of people to run off the the thing, you know, make it a lot easier. Grant has several really cool lines in this episode. You know, he he walks up to Spencer Treat Clark. Really great to see him again. You know, and yeah, I mean, if this is the if this is the char his the character he played in Gladiator, that kid you know had privilege. So yeah, he he grew up and yeah, and the let's see, yeah, really really glad to to see him and. And stuff as well. I was very, very happy when he showed up in in Glass. You know, I I have to admit, I would have thought that he would get recast. You know, it's yeah, a, a child star being brought back. You know, what was that? Ni Nineteen years later, but yeah, he's he's really, really good in in the movie. So, but but yeah, you know, he yeah, Grant walks up to him, says, "Good thing I got here." I'm the exterminator. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a really good line. Although he he you know he should be wearing like a, a you know motorcycle helmet, maybe have a have a flamethrower on the cover, and then barely in the movie at all. I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter about that. Seriously though, that movie is very entertaining. And we have the, let's see, and, and there's definitely some aspects of it that I really do hold in very high regard. Now, let's see, sometimes I really struggle to, to make out my, I, I use a lot of shorthand, and sometimes it might be too short. Maybe I'll, yeah, maybe I'll later be able to, to pick up but anyway but yeah um good scene with daisy and garner uh, you know talking about the you know the th yeah 
him him pointing out you know you're you're becoming a leader and you know that kind of transition is difficult you know so so yeah i i quite appreciate that you know obviously we the viewer want to see her become a leader but yeah it's not easy it's not just you know flip a switch i really like the fact that melinda smiles and is very chatty with her father and like the moment that hunter shows up you know she's back to stern silent looks and and there's that you know and he's like would, would you smile once in your life and it's like I don't think it's that she never does. I think it might be you that's, you know, making her not, you know, you know I don't like you, right? And then we have the, let's see, yeah, they realize that the, the room is for controlling the monolith, which, yeah, very, very clever idea. Just, yeah, if this thing has been around for centuries, and people have known that it was dangerous, at some point, someone would try to control it. So, yeah, really, really clever there, and just, yeah. Let's see, the... Right, and I, I quite like the, the fact that, you know, it was specifically, there was the symbol that, you know, led the... That, that made, you know, Randolph certain where the where to go to, to deal with the, the monolith. Because that's the thing, you know, the word, you know, yeah, it sounds like, oh, the only thing, you know, the, the only thing the, the monolith can do for you is kill you. But no, it was like, it was, you know, the, the oh, what's the word? It was it was basically a d direction, you know. It was a, if if you want to control the monolith, this symbol will will show you, you know, that the, uh, will identify the room where the the control mechanism is, you know. Very very nicely done because yeah, when you just on the face of it, just the word, you know, if you if you're looking for a thing and you know, oh, this is supposed to tell me how to work this thing, and it just says death. You know, yeah, you're not gonna think. So, so yeah, very clear. And and it's it's kind of a force missing the force for the trees kind of thing because the symbol means death, but it is also a symbol. You know, sometimes you got to take that step back and realize, no, it's yes, the symbol can mean it can be translated into death, but it is also a symbol. It is something. You know, so so yeah, very very nicely done. And, yeah, so Grant tells the, the guy, you know, to, to who, who at this point in the episode we still don't know the, the name of, but, you know, Spencer Street Clark's character, you know, get him, get the passwords for the banks out of him. Teeth, eyes, fingers, whatever it takes, which, holy crap, just, yeah, okay, this... This is not a man to be messed with. And let's see. Yeah, and I I like the the um you know, the hunter is talking to to Melinda and you know, he's like I'd like I'm I'm going to put Grant 6 feet under at least. And yeah, you know, she says I'm out, which you know, it is the early part of a, a action movie where the the hero just won't go back even for one last job. Not quite yet. And let's see. Yeah, and and you know, Daisy talks to to Coulson and he's like, "Well, Doctor Garner said I'm reckless. He can't mean reckless. He said you're desperate. He said I'm desperate. You know, this is the, oh suddenly it's personal." And, you know, Bobby, yeah, Bobby knows exactly, like, word for word what, you know, he said about her. And then Daisy's like, oh, he, he didn't mention you. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, Americans are not big fans of, of therapy. They, they really 
don't like if you know this thing of breaking down walls and actually communicating openly that's that's not really their forte so a lot of jokes about therapy in American media but this one does at least also acknowledge that it can be you know useful it has been earlier in, in this show and yeah they managed to, to open the portal and I gotta say I got real like amnesia one and two vibes I haven't played three yet I do own it I am hoping to get to play it at some point if my back and shoulder feel better anyway yeah really you know just yeah and yeah so we yeah we learn the that Spencer Treat Clark is playing Werner von Strucker and this is of course after uh, um, Baron yeah you know Baron von Strucker died in the the second um, Avengers movie so yeah now I, I really glad you know a lot of us felt that von Strucker was kind of wasted in the MCU because that's you know that's all you're gonna give he has almost no screen time even though they cast like I'm not you know I get the you know this, this was an actor who like early in his career he kept getting cast as like Nazis and and bad guys in general uh, to Thomas Kretschmann but you know and and he definitely he can play so much more than that but he was really phenomenal as von, von Strucker and yeah really glad that this you know has his his kin at least but yeah the the <clears throat> Yeah, I, I liked how, you know, what Melinda remembers about ice skating was that it hit, it, it, it was, it hurt when she hit the ice, and what her father remembers is that she always got back up, you know, it's the same, like, it's not like he was watching someone else ice skate, it's the same event, but two different perspectives on it, and yeah, very nice. Very nicely done, and let's see. Right, and I like yeah. So Werner kills the guy for you know yeah you know no yeah he says something like that nobody nobody treats me like that and lives you know so yeah he is hydro material that's that's one hundred percent sure and you know Grant comes in I brought tacos. <laughs> And you know, yeah. So so Werner is is like threatening. You know, I should. You know, yeah. Some yeah. Some some kind of death threat. And you know, Grant says you know you, you shouldn't threaten someone with death. Which is honestly yeah. I I agree. No one should threaten. You know that is a serious. That's really crossing a line. You know, of course. Then Grant follows up by saying you should just do it. Which okay. Um. It is no longer good advice. But yeah, that, you know, that is the kind of, you know, like Werner is willing to do these sorts of things, but he needs refinement, you know, and Grant can help with that. And yeah, you know, Grant's family was also really messed up. So that is, uh, yeah. But yeah, enjoying this sort of grooming kind of thing. Just, yeah. The, the, which is probably the only... Those are not words I usually say in that order. But, yeah, I, I quite like that. I can't help but wonder if later, if maybe Werner does kill someone without first, like, making it clear he's going to, thus following Grant's advice. And, yeah, they, they realize, you know, Daisy can open the portal you know she can she can um, manage the the frequency, and then they ask her 
how long she can hold it and she says one minute and I told myself I wasn't gonna make a terrible joke so I will just move on and let's see yeah and and you know fits I get you know I guess the only reason that no one prevented him is that then it wouldn't have gone the way that they wanted it to because really how did you not see he jumps in of course he jumps in the moment that they they open it but he did at least he was smart enough to to have the you know the the what's it called what wire rope kind of thing so they can pull him back and he does manage to find Simmons so I mean, maybe they'll explain it in an upcoming episode. I guess the idea is supposed to be that she well, she kept close to the place that he that that she first popped into when the portal swallowed her. I guess I I mean that's yeah, and I really appreciate when we saw her. You know, it felt like this this desert kind of you know. When Fitz is down there, it's like, you know, ice cold and, and like windy and just so this is a truly deeply inhospitable place to, to be. You know, it is either too hot and humid or it is ice cold and just, yeah, really appreciate that. I gotta say, I was not expecting Simmons back this soon. This is only the second episode of this season, but I seriously respect them for not, like, trying to drag that out over the course of the, you know, because she only disappeared at the end of the last season, so she really was only truly gone for two episodes. And then we have the... Yeah, they, they destroy the portal, and... Let's see. Yeah, and, and, you know, Melinda answers the phone and she's like, you know, I'm not coming back to, to the office. I'm glad Simmons is back, you know, and hangs up. And for a second there, we think, oh, I get, you know, she's still near her father. Nope, she did indeed join Lance. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing them try to take out Grant. And, you know, I, I like the, the line about, you know, if he sees your face, you're dead. If he sees my face, I'm close enough to put a bullet in him. And, yeah, you know, the, the last regular scene is Simmons, you know, waking up and, and holding out like a sharp object. You know, it's very clear that she had a PTSD nightmare which you know in you know not not to use confusing terminology PTSD is of course short for portal teleportation sudden destruction and it is very traumatic i i got close though i got close to making it through the entire line without cracking up anyway but but no seriously though i really appreciate the show's willingness to engage with trauma you know a lot of people who have had those, you know, not that exact experience because it is fairly rare for for human beings to be sucked into a portal and dumped on an alien planet. But, you know, people who had to sleep a place that is dangerous, yeah, they'll sometimes wake up and immediately think they're being attacked kind of thing. And the post credit scene is Werner joining the psychology, you know, the, the yeah, the, those studies. And I like how the camera played coy as if we couldn't tell from frame one. Okay, that's obviously Werner. And there's a, oh, you know, I'm not showing you his face. We don't know who it is. <gasps> It was Werner. Who could have guessed? It's just it was it was adorable. It was very very, yeah. But you know, and Werner, this. Do you know why people usually join psychology? It's to it's to understand their family. Well, mine's a real mess, and just yeah, really really excited to see what happens next there. And 
I think that might be about what I Let's see. So yeah, like straight up, Grant sacrificed that one guy, the the big guy, to make sure that Werner, like, what was it he said? I just just needed to to give you a push, you know. So yeah, like I. He meant it when he said, whatever it takes. You know, I will literally sacrifice your life to make sure that Werner is, is useful. And I do appreciate, it. You know, yeah, the, the big guy, you know, Grant has been talking to him about, ah, these, you know, these total posers. They're not serious about Hydra at all. They're, you know, they're they're weak. They're not, and and he's actually like he's swerving around, and these people are just standing stock still. Yeah, fair enough. If you're if you're that determined, I I can understand why someone would would trust you to fight for the cause without any. And that was the thing, you know. It's not that oh, there's just no Hydra left. No, no, no there's no Hydra leadership, but obviously there's still like people working who were willing to work for Hydra left out there you know the 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 stuff we saw was specifically taking out leadership and the people working directly with leadership that kind of thing but yeah the you know the ideology is still going to you know win over a lot of people but yeah you know Werner like he he got the let's see was it a pen it was it, you know he he stabs the guy and then he like hits him with like i think it was the laptop which yeah i mean those things can weigh a, a bit and if you're you know if you're willing to to hit someone like that yeah it that that can you know crack a skull or whatever it was exactly but yeah and let's see the yes so <clears throat> IMDb trivia for the episode Ward brings Werner von Strucker tacos upon earning them just like John Garrick did to him during his training so yeah he is legitimately he is still doing the the yeah you know like he he followed John you know, fairly, fairly consistently, you know, so he still agrees with his methods. Now, let's see. The stunt team, led by second unit director Gary A. Brown, stunt coordinator Tanner Gill, along with Tangeron, had only a, around a day to plan Ward's entrance in the episode involving him driving through a warehouse between pillars while giving a dissertation on the future of Hydra. Brown had seen the location during the production of the second season and asked that it be used given that building was up for demol demolition. It was subsequently written into the script for purpose in the machine. The pillars were only about 18 feet apart, and unlike on yeah, on a film, the stunt driver, Greg Tracy, did not have much time to practice the sequence and work out the best way to do it. So just, yeah, holy crap. And Randolph refers to Bobby as Amazon woman. I didn't note this in my notes because I knew someone would have put it in here. Adrian Palicki, who plays Bobby, had previously played the Amazon Warrior Wonder Woman in the pilot for a Wonder Woman TV series, which was never aired back in 2011. So, yeah, the... Is that, like, rubbing salt in the wound? Or is it more of, like, a victory lap because now she's on this show? Yeah, when this first aired, she was on this show. So it's not like, you know... If you had made that joke right after that show failed, it'd be like, okay, dude, that's harsh. But, yeah, you know, by this point, you know, she'd been in a lot of episodes of this show, so, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Um, James Hong and Ming-Na Wen both starred in the 1980, 1998 Mulan Wen as the titular heroine. Hong as Chifu Envoy to the Emperor. I forgot about that. It's been a long time since I watched that. And I'm I'm actually not 100% certain I've watched it in English before. I, I will. I am watching all the... I'm not doing videos on them, but I am watching all of the animated Disney movies. You know, a lot of them I'd over, I've already watched. But, yeah, they're all on Disney+. Plus. I felt like doing it. So, anyway. Um, huh. 
The American flag on the wall in the squad's recreational area is an old American flag, having only 48 stars on, on it instead of the modern 50 stars. Oh, yeah, that's true. The episode features two actors who worked, albeit separately, with legendary director Ridley Scott. James Hong played Hannibal Chu in Blade Runner. Spencer Treat Clark played Lucius in Gladiator. And, oh, yeah. Lord Thornley actor Alex Hyde White previously played Marvel character Reed Richards in the infamous Roger Corman produced unreleased Fantastic Four film. I've still it is a you know there there are, so there are four you know live action Fantastic Four films. That is the only one I've never watched. Yeah, it's still not on. Maybe someday it'll be put on Disney+. Plus. I kind of want to see it. You know, I'm sure it'll be terrible. But I, I'm, I'm morbidly curious and fascinated by it. You know, I, it, it will not be... I've, I've watched... Oh, hold on. Actually, yeah, was it one of the ones Roger Corman directed? Or was it just produced? What, whatever. You know, I've seen ones he produced. I've seen ones he directed. Um... You know the the I I seriously respect like he he's one of the he he gave the the um he gave yeah he he mentored Francis Ford Coppola Ron Howard Martin Scorsese Jack Nicholson James Cameron Robert Nero Peter Bogdanovich Joe Dante and Sandra Bullock so yeah it's you know it's wild how yeah he's he's very influential he was he's not that good of a film director and the movies he produced were very cheap but there's a lot of fun to be had watching them and um someone actually added to the IMDb trivia for this episode Ward is rebuilding Hydra I mean I'm just, I'm just glad it's, someone had to say it. Honestly, finally, someone is being honest. And <laughs> two people voted helpful, 11 people voted unhelpful, which is one way of saying, yeah, we get it, Captain Obvious. You don't need to spell out everything. Now, let's see the... I think that might be... About yeah, uh, I like you know. Melinda asks her father, you know, are you expecting company? And he's like, no, but I'm not afraid of the prospect. You know, it is this thing of because because again, you know, they're basically they're they're looking at the same things, but they're seeing different things in those. And let's see, yeah, and you know, when when yeah. Colson asks, okay, Fitz, what do you need? And Fitz responds, uh, uh, well, more historical data. People have studied this thing for centuries. Um, an expert on quantum mechanics and Einstein Rosenberg's theory. And uh, a sandwich would be nice. I might have an idea about the other things. <laughs> 